You know, I've been working on this Tandy 1000 SX for a while, and I think it's time we get the XT-IDE SD card adapter in here that I bought from Texelec. Stay tuned. So this is the card that I got from Texelec. It comes with this nice 3D printed bracket on it. I mean, it's it's perfect for what I'm wanting to do. And it takes just a regular SD card in there like that. Pushes in and locks, removes. It's a 16 gig card that I got. Obviously, this will not be able to recognize that, but it'll at least be a start. Uh, it does have a uh, ROM built in, jumpers on it. It's a really nice card. I'll leave a link to it below in the uh, description. This is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. But let's get this slotted in. It only takes a second and we'll get the uh, computer booted up and see if we can make this work. All right, so we're doing a format of C and putting the system files on there. working its way through. It's found the disk, obviously. Format complete. All right, we got command.com on there. All right, so now we're copying all the files over from A to C. Command.com was already on there, so hopefully that makes it a bootable install. This is MS-DOS 3.3, which I think is about the latest version that doesn't bog this system down without the extra memory. We'll soon find out. All right, we're copied. Uh, let's change the directory to C. Let's do a. All right, looks like everything's on there. All right, well let's uh, let's try to do a boot from C and see what works here. Booting C. Ah ha ha! Looks like it might have worked. Let's try. 06-09-2024, it is 10.31 in the morning. All right, let's see if we can get uh, a demo or something here working. Try the King's Quest 4 demo because it should have Tandy graphics and sound, or at least the composite output, but we should have some decent sound here too. Let's press any key. Let's see what it does here. Switch to composite. I think that looks better. Got a loose connection in the composite switch there. There we go.
Well, that's about all I can do for today. I really wanted to make sure I could get that SD card adapter working and make sure that the sound chip worked in this. I haven't had anything with sound yet. So I got to get some more games, more programs for it, and we'll revisit it again in the future. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them down in the comments. We'll see you next time.